Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to Let's Play The Oregon Trail! This has been demanded time and time and time again, uh, so that's what we're going to do. Now, a lot of people I think expected me to play Oregon Trail version 1, but the fact of the matter is, that's not my favorite. Uh, version 2 is the one that I really came to enjoy quite a bit because it added a lot of depth to the gameplay. Um, Although today what we're going to be playing is version 5, which is really just version 2 with a few extra cartoony cutscenes put in from time to time, which we're pretty much just going to skip. So, for those of you who don't know, the Organ Trail is a game that simulates the, um, the, the sort of adventures of the pioneers who were... Uh, populating the West. They moved from the Eastern United States to the Western United States um, for a variety of reasons. Um, depending on when you go, there could be a gold rush. Uh, it could just be about accessing more land. Um, and anyway, it was a very dangerous trail and lots of people had a hard time, so we're going to try to do that ourselves. And we're going to start with a new game. So this is going to be the uh, trail journal of... I can't type. Come on. There it is. All right. Qu the trail journal of Quill. Um, and we're going to go right for a trail guide at difficulty, um, which will mean that we will be picking our route and making a lot of hard decisions. We have quite a few different professions to choose from, each with a different set of, um, of, of bonuses and, and quirks and things like that. The banker is absolutely the easiest. They start with the most amount of money. But they also have tr commerce and trade skills, which I think that means they get better prices. So they have quite a bit of money to spend. Way down at the bottom, we've got the teacher, who does not start with a lot of money, nor special uh, skills necessarily, but they get a huge score multiplier because of the difficulty, but, you know, also, it was explained that the West really need a lot of teachers, so there's there's a bonus that way. Um, so, there, there there's a lot of... The, the, the game experience changes quite a bit depending on exactly who you pick. Um, and I'm wondering... <clears throat> if we go middle of the pack, maybe? Um, gee, what do we do? Gunsmith with our sharpshooting skills, we can do a lot of hunting. That might be fun, actually. Let's, let's go that way. Well, we'll go a hunting-oriented uh, build. You get to choose when and where you leave, and also where you're going. And depending on when you go, you get a different set of places that you can start and end from, I believe. Um, so, I, let's see. They have, well, they've got the map. That's not really helpful here. Uh, there's the guidebook, which talks about different things, about where to go and the trip. Um, I don't know. You know what? I actually like leaving a little earlier. It's a little riskier because things might be frosty. Um, but it means that you beat the next winter if you're trying to cross the Rockies. Uh, we can only leave from Independence here with this time. Uh, which I suppose, you know what, a little later there's going to be more bridges and things like that. And we are going to go to, um, <clears throat> we're going to go to Sacramento. Sure, why not? Maybe we'll hope we can find some gold. Now, we're going to be accompanied by four others. Sure, that sounds good. And I'm just going to hop over to YouTube and just figure out who the last few commentators are, or commenters are, and we will, um... Let's see, comments. We will use some of those names. <laughs> We're gonna use a statin. We're gonna use Syrah. Um we're gonna use Chris Reamer. Ah! Doesn't fit. Ah, that's fine. Chris Reem. It's we're gonna use, and we're gonna have skulls. There we go. These are gonna be our our party of people who are going with us, and we are gonna start with the large wagon is a good idea. Okay, travel the trails. You're a gunsmith who has come to Independence in 1849 for the purpose of setting off on a journey to Sacramento. You've already bought a large farm wagon, but you will still need to buy this other supplies you'll need for your journey. As you wander the streets of Independence, you'll see various stores that should be able to uh, provide you with supplies, provided you have enough cash. You'll also see people who may be able to give you some advice. Okay, skip the animations. There we go, we are in Independence. There's some people we can talk to, we can wander around. Uh, no thanks, we're gonna buy our own supplies. Uh, the Independence Messenger. The Congress that creates the Department of the Interior, so you can see some news headlines. The Butcher, we can't actually go into. Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe attorneys. Gra dry goods is gonna be pretty important. 
is where we can buy quite a lot of goods, and this is the part, this is why I like this game more than uh, the first one. Look at the kinds of food you can buy. You really get to customize your, um, just your loadout. Uh, the guns are pretty, pretty straightforward, but even clothing, there's a lot of different options, and they do things. Look at medicines, for example. You're going to buy different medicines, and you're going to have to pick and choose how to treat people who get sick using these different options. So we're going to, we're going to load ourselves up. We're going to start with, um, um, oh yeah, we can buy the oxens and stuff here too. Cool, okay, we're going to start off with, I'm, I'm thinking four oxen. I'm actually going to try to go with a fairly lightweight loadout, especially since we can hunt for food on the road. Um, hopefully that'll improve our time a little bit and make it a little less likely that we'll fall over into the water. Clothing. Um, now, it's not going to be too cold when we start out. It is April. Um, so the question is, do we want to bring winter clothes? I'm not sure. Just five sets of clothing, maybe? Do we need extra clothing for people? Hopefully not. Hopefully that's enough for everyone. Um, we'll bring enough hats for everyone as well, and uh, boots. And that's probably okay, so we're not going to have much in the way of winter gear, but hopefully we'll, we'll manage that way. Um, so yes, we definitely want... Um, apparently we don't buy guns. Alright, so we want lots of bullets though. We're going to want five boxes of bullets. And two kegs! They're 25 pounds each of gunpowder. Um, but I want to back up in case something goes wrong. <clears throat> so that's going to be the, the, the core of our weight. Uh, we are going to start with some meat. Um, and then a few other resources on the side. Uh, like we'll, we'll bring some butter. And a little cheese. And lots of coffee. And yeah, we'll start, we'll start with some bacon. Uh, what else do we want? A little cornmeal. Crackers. Dried beans, that's important. Um, dried bread. Just a, a little variety of everything. Um, and flour. We want, we want 50 pounds of flour. A little garlic. Sure. Um, some lard. Pemmican's another really good um, source of food, actually. It's only 10 pounds. We want uh, 20 pounds of pemmican. We want to go a little bit without needing to stop to hunt right away. Pickles are good for a variety of reasons. They can actually hold off certain diseases as well. Little potatoes. Okay, we're starting to get kind of heavy here. Um, we want, we want like some salt, yeast cakes so we can make bread, a couple of those, some tea, five pounds of tea, 30 pound keg of vinegar, so sick. Um, was salt an option? There was salted pork. No, I guess that's that. Furniture, which is always quite funny. I mean, we can bring grandfather clocks with us. You do get bonus points for arriving in the West with furniture. Um, but it weighs a ton, and right now I'm mostly concerned with success, so we're going to skip that. Um, I'm not sure which of these medicines are really critical, but we're going to bring at least one helping of everything. Just in case, especially the brandy. It's important. Uh, and some of it's slightly more important than others. Let's see here. I like how olive oil is a medicine. Peppermint, sarsaparilla, sassafras, spearmint, turpentine. That's strange. A little whiskey. A little witch hazel. Um, hmm. I guess that'll do. What else we got? Miscellany. Uh, it's very important, of course, for us to bring a banjo on the trip. You can't, you can't deal without that. It keeps, it helps keep morale up, actually, having the musical instruments. And we'll bring some games, some decks of cards. Um, grease is good for your axles and stuff like that. Uh, Got to have our harmonica, obviously. Uh, lantern oil, that's actually a good idea. Do we have a lantern? We're going to bring um, a couple of tins of that just to help navigate in case it gets dark or stormy. Uh, five boxes of matches. Some mending yarn to help maintain our clothes. Don't need a mirror. Um, oats, so that is for um, our, our animals. 
We can bring some sacks of oats to feed them, but we won't need that. Well, you know what? We're going to get one sack of oat just in case, because we're leaving a little earlier in the year, just in case there's a shortage of grass anywhere. China, soap. No, we don't need no stinking soap. All right. Spices. Yeah, see, we, we need we need a little bit of spice. Uh, I can't. Oh, I can. Yeah. Just got to keep the food good tasting. It's not that expensive. And some, oh, there we go, salt and sugar. Very key. It's not a whole lot, but it's gonna be some. Tools and utensils, well, we need some axes. One butcher knife. Canteens, uh, we might just be able to buy later, actually. Uh, we do have the need for coffee. One compass seems like a good idea. Dutch oven, we're gonna go without fishing nets, we're mostly gonna hunt. Frying pan, yeah, need that. May as well get some basic tools. Mm, a kettle, a ladle, sure we need a ladle, in case we make soup, there's the lanterns, so we'll get one of those, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. pot, and we're gonna go with like three, no, four ropes, no, five ropes, five is important, better to have a thing and not need it, than to need a thing and not have it, as Sam Ganji always says, uh, cooking utensils, Five sets of eating utensils, so we all have our own. A thermometer to help diagnose our people when they get sick. Um, a skillet, I don't know what the difference between a frying pan and a skillet is, but sure, we'll do that. We'll want five cups and five plates. A washboard, sure, and a, a couple of water kegs, just so we can keep that full up. Uh, we won't need it as much right now. Wagon parts, oh, we can't buy wagon parts here. All right, purchase, let's exit here. What else we got? Let's go down the street a little further. In the stables. <clears throat> Hello, can we buy... Um, so you got, we've got our animals here. We can also buy uh, other animals, like some chickens and milk cows to bring along with us, which is not a terrible idea. Um, and some hay. There we go, so some spare ox, ox yokes. We'll buy one of those. And... There'd be more parts. Okay, we'll purchase that. Funeral parlor, parlor. Oh, a general store as well, so there's more than one little shop. But this is gonna be pretty similar. I mean, the prices may have been different. They might have slightly different things, but probably not. Uh, what do we have here? An outfitter, which again is gonna be pretty similar. This is mostly just clothing. You can get some umbrellas. Hotel. Gunsmith, yeah. Okay, see, we do need to buy um, rifle. We'll get a couple of rifles. Well, one's enough, but what if we lose it? They're expensive, though. We'll get two rifles. So we've got 100 bullets. And I don't know what the ratio of gunpowder to bullets is, but 100 bullets has got to be pretty good, no? I guess they're pretty light. Let's get a, a lot more bullets. All right, good stuff. Oh yeah, there's the wagons. We might be able to get some more parts. There you go, spare axle, spare wagon tongue, uh, spare wheels, a cover, sure. Purchase. Oops, and then rotate around. And then we're gonna leave and it's gonna ask us who we wanna go with. Generally speaking, I think it's a better idea to go with the larger group of people. Here, it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty similar. So we'll go with train number one. And we have been, we are going to be elected the uh, the leader of the group, so we get to choose exactly where and when to go. Morale is high. We could set a fast pace to start off with, but it's probably a recipe for disaster, I don't know. Anyway, let's get started. So we get to the first river. How deep is this? It's two and one half feet deep. I think we can just ford that. I think it's manageable. It's tranquil, it's wide. I don't think we need to caulk and float. Um, you can see who's around. Hey, what you think? I think we should cross the river now. Okay, we'll do that. Let's ford it. And... Oh, it'd be pretty disastrous if we like fell over on our very first try, but yeah, two and a half feet. I think you can ford up to maybe about three feet. Assuming it's calm, and assuming your wagon's not too weighed down. Uh, Westport, no, we can keep going. Actually, how do we, um, how do we go hunting? 
Do a little hunting. Canada geese! Um. Oh, there we go. I had to reload. Anything else? Is that all the animals here? Can look around. Oh, there's some more. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Oops. Okay, so much for my superior gun skills. There we go. I actually shot over the bird that time and killed it. Alright, that's good. 14 pounds a game. Carry it all back. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just continue on. Oh, another cutscene. So they're cute, they tell the story of things and, and whatever, and they're not bad. Um, but we're not gonna bother with that. So we're now in New Santa Fe. So I don't see any reason to stop. Let's just keep going, try to make good time. There we go, now I've been hired as the trail guide. Okay, so now if there's a fork in the road, they're gonna make me choose it. Blue Mound? Yeah, alright, keep going. All these all these interesting little uh, landmarks and waypoints and things to let you know how things are going. Morale is high. Okay, there's a ferry, and we have we saved lots of money from not buying too much. I do like to take the ferry when it's available, just to be safe, so we'll do that. I'm not too worried about our finances yet. Now, we may run low as time goes on, but hopefully we're okay. Oops, continue. Actually, what are, how are our food stores? Um, and we can fish here as well. Rations filling. I thought there was a, a thing that would tell us how much food we probably have. Um, how many days worth. So we don't have a ton of food. Let's hunt some more. Oh, I didn't reload properly. Damn it. Damn it. These things are hard to shoot. There we are. There we go. Oh, that should be plenty. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't even able to bring all the meat back. 195 pounds, that's what I'm talking about. Heavy fog. Well, we're gonna slow down, but keep going, I think. St. Mary's Mission? Well, let's visit the mission. Hey, what you got for sale? So we're out of bacon at this point. We might want to top that off, but we do, we do have a lot of food, right? Uh, we're out of biscuits, so we're gonna top off on food that we, uh, we've eaten and finished. Brown muslin cloth. Maybe we could buy a little bit of that. I don't know what we need it for. We're still we're still good on butter. Uh, we're still good on bullets, despite the fact that I'm missing like crazy. Oh, let's get a little soap. I realize we didn't have any of that. All right, that's good. Um, now should we increase our pace a little bit? It's dangerous. Increases the chance of accidents, but I don't know. We could also gather, right? Try to find plants to eat. Look it up. Evening primrose. Maybe helpful for coughs. Oh, cool. Keep it. Plantain. Not yeah, but not the banana. Boil the leaves like spinach. Cool. Keep it. Black mustard, yeah. Rose hips. All right, so we're gonna keep all these. All right, continue. It does take up time. Strangers ahead. You know what? Let's continue at a distance. Let's just avoid the strangers. Tollbridge, one dollar. Awesome. Let's do it. If you do choose to go to uh, the Great Salt Lake, and you're a Mormon, the animals are exhausted. All right, so that's that's too much. Stop and rest a while. Rest for a couple of days. See, that's what we get for increasing our pace. Let's just do this. I should have known better. More cutscenes. Nice little spring. Morale is still high. Check the river conditions. Five feet deep may be rather difficult. That's really not good. Um, we can't ford it. We're definitely gonna have to try the uh, cock and float. Oh no, the rock, the rock, rock! God damn it! Uh, what did we lose? Allspice, brandy, some bullets, chamomile, and various other items, which 
I hate when they, like, you don't know what you've lost. Alright, get it upright. Um, okay, we have our rifles and most of our bullets. That's good. Food. We have a bunch of salted meats, so... I think we lost some of our food, but we still have some. We're not gonna, we're not gonna starve. Morale is still good. That's because we have our banjo. Alright, so we're at the St. Joseph... St. <laughs> Joseph Road Junction. And we get to choose our path for the first time. Um... So, we can, um, can write in our diary, we can check our guidebook, our itinerary, itinerary, um, and some of this, where's the actual just map? Can I not pop it up here? I mean, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be going west. Blue Mound, the Spring, yeah, the Junction. Yeah, I mean, we're just we're just going, yeah, because we've been on the St. Joseph Road. Like, we wouldn't want to turn around at this point. That would be silly. So, head west, Oregon Trail. But we're going to have to keep on our toes because we, we want to go to Sacramento. The Narrows. Continue. We want to go to Sacramento. We don't want to accidentally end up in, like, the wrong city. And we can end somewhere else, but people will complain. Let's slow down. Cute little kitty. The coast of Nebraska. This looks pretty boring. Let's let's not stay here. Food still going awesome, although we would like some more variety of food. Ah, oh, perfect. Let's visit the fort and see what we can buy. Now, the further west you go, the cheaper horses become, and the more expensive oxen become. Um. Okay, we don't need anything from there. Supplies. That's what we want to see. Um, we're going to fill up on, on some miscellaneous food. Throw in some sardines for variety. Some cheese for variety. A little cornmeal. Dried veggies. Oh, we lost all our flour. Um, you know, that's kind of heavy. Let's cut it back. We lost our lard, so we're going to want some of that. We don't have our keg of pickles. I don't know what saleratus is, saleratus? No idea, but let's buy some. Now, what do you got other than food? Candles, fishing poles. Let's buy one hunting knife, whoops. get a pistol, but it's not like a pistol is useful for hunting. <clears throat> we could also get a shotgun, which might be easier than the rifle, I don't know. Oh, sugar. Purchase. Exit. Alright, oops, time to go. Continue past Fort Keeney. So it is being cold, it is a cold, cold, cold April. Um, a creek? Yeah, just keep going. I don't want to talk to people, people suck. I might have to hunt again soon, though. Well, we probably still have like 100 pounds of the meat. 92. Bum, bum, bum. Dust storm? Just slow down. We'll be okay. Suck it up. Fog! Ah, oh, these are all slowing down our travels too much. South Platte River? Thick dust from other wagons. Yeah, just continue. Alright, another river. It's only two feet. Very wide, very difficult, but I'm not floating it. I'm gonna afford it. It's not deep enough. Oh no! Oh, no! 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 Ah! Lost some more bullets, some butter, boots, the banjo. No, not the banjo. Oh. All right, we got first of our big hills to deal with. I don't think we have any veggies. I think I was saying the path up the hill doesn't look very steep. All right, continue up the hill. Um, low food, no vegetables, no fruit. Morale is high. Let's see if we can gather some plants. I should do this more often. That's dandelion. That's going to be... Or salsify. Okay. Keep it. Black nightshade. No, we don't want to eat that. Okay. Peri poppy mallow. Yeah, we can eat that. Snow on the mountain. 
Leaves are poisonous. Okay, so we are done. Just a little bit of veggies. That's not much. Doesn't look very steep. Lock the wheels and continue. We'll play it a little bit safe. Anyone got any um fine scenery around these parts? Let's keep going. I think we ought to keep No one wants to trade? I think it's time we be moving on now. Do a little more gathering. Um edible berries, good. Poisonous. Poisonous. Uh, keep it. One pound, ten pounds. Throw away poisonous stuff. Good, and we'll do a little hunting as well. Don't have any gunpowder! Oh, crap. Oh man, we're actually in huge trouble. I say we continue on our way. Oh, God damn it, no one wants to trade? Need fishing gear, yeah. Maybe we should have gotten that. Uh, throw out the buttercup. Elderberry! Ah, nice. Uh, keep that. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'd seen it before. Oops. Keep it. And I think that's mustard. Oh, even primrose. Primrose, that's okay too. Keep that. Continue. Slow down. Uh, chimney rock. Is there a good trading here? No, there isn't. I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovich. My family is going to the I'm Natalia ah. Nyasnyakovich. The trail teaches you a hearty. No answer. one wants to trade. Normally you'd be able to trade for something. Continue. We need a oh god. Yes, a trading post. Thank you. Uh well all items I guess we'll go through. Um You know the bacon's pretty cheap. Let's buy ten pounds of bacon. And some biscuits. And some butter since we lost some of that. We've still got lots of bullets, that's not the problem. Um, flour. Okay, two kegs of gunpowder, because we need a backup keg, in case we lose some. You know, let's just fill up on a variety of food, keep people entertained. Olive oil, some 25 pounds of pemmican, a little ham for variety, although we need veggies. That's actually, actually, they don't have a lot of veggies. A little more salt. Huh. That sucks. Still no fruit and vegetables. Which is really what we need. Um, check the river conditions. Yeah, I'll take the ferry. Better safe than sorry. Visit the fort. Yeah, okay. Come on, have some have some stuff for me. Let's check the blacksmith, see if there's... We don't need anvils. Chains are actually good for mountain descents and things like that. No, oh, exit. Where's the exit? There it is. Supplies. Supplies! Um, beads. Yes, yeah, so we could trade. A little brandy. Celery. Okay, we're gonna buy all your celery. And some cornmeal as well. I don't know if that counts as vegetables. You know, let's go with 50 pounds of cornmeal, just in case. Would you already use a bag of flour? Guess we don't need as much flour if we've got all the cornmeal either, but... Maple syrup! Oh, let's have a little maple syrup. Nom nom nom. And some pepper, that's important. And pickles. Actually, I think pickles do count. They're very... We'll get like 50 pounds of pickles. Um, they're nicely preserved too. A little rice. Tea. Lots of tea. Keep morale up. Not tobacco, though. It's not good for you. Purchase. Alright. Um, how do I leave? Exit. So, we want the, uh, the Oregon Trail heading west. Keep going. Register cliff. Continue. Uh, more fog. Gotta play it safe. So, we've traveled 700 miles now. 
This is the end of May, so we've been on the road almost two months. Ayers Natural Bridge. The North Platte River. Uh, check river conditions. Tranquil, not wide, it's just three feet. I'm just gonna take the ferry. Another trading post, may as well check it out. <laughs> oh, we don't have any coffee beans. Let's get 10 pounds of coffee. And all your dried vegetables. <laughs> Alright, it's good. And let's check our actual food supplies. Yeah, we're running low on meat, so actually, let's go hunting. Whoops, that's the wrong button. What is this? Oh man, buffalo. Yeah, that's gonna be... Fuck it, kill all the buffalo. It's gonna be way more than we need. We can bring back. Yeah, because we caught, killed 1,100 pounds. We can only carry back 199. So, one buffalo is usually enough, but screw it. It's not like they don't, you know, regenerate. Spring, alkali water, yes, yeah, so we can't drink that, but we did have a couple of barrels. Hopefully we've got those still. Devil's Gate. Uh, slow down a little. Okay, so now we get to make a choice as to which crossing we use. The deep sand route or the three crossings route. So, the... What is this? Oh, that's the health. Everyone's in good health. Awesome. So, uh, wrong button. We want the guide. Right, so the north route is rugged and crosses a river three times. The south route crosses rivers only once, but passes through deep sand, which slows us down, and there's possible quicksand after rain. Um... It's June. I gotta feel it's... Um, I think I want to go the deep sand route. Although, if there's no... If it's really sandy and there's no grazing for our animals, that would actually suck. Uh, we'll try the three crossings and pray. What are we looking at? One and, a, and one half feet, and it's small. Okay, we definitely afford this. Come on, pull it off. There's a wagon here. I think we're going to be okay. I think it's that cutscene. And this one is also quite shallow. 